I just love it when they show themselves. It makes fishing so much easier. This is a Tackle Warehouse exclusive, and it's a snack size package with a lot of punch. Mm -hmm. Golly. Good one. He has got it. Really good. Just holding on there. Quit. I mean, he's full of it. Get over here. Got you. Uh huh. Tried to get away with my tungsten thunder cricket. And I mean, he drilled it. He hit it going the other way. Tackle Warehouse Pro Mark Menendez here with you. We got clouds. Got wind, now we got thunder. Thunder cricket has become quickly one of my favorite baits. Let it drop, let it fall, jerk it around, do so many things with it. We're gonna show you right here on this video on Tackle Warehouse. Bladed jig, thunder cricket, a very simple design bait. A basic jig body with no weed guard on it and a blade that ratchets left to right. This is the tungsten version. You can see how many bites I've had on this one. This one's got a lot of teeth marks on it. And what's unique about the tungsten, because the tungsten is a thicker, more dense material, it has a deeper vibration. It's more of a deep thump, 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 thump. The regular Thunder Cricket being of lead and less dense material, it has more of a both of those have a place and a time. The regular Thunder Cricket is one I like to use in hotter water. I want that higher vibration, that noise. In grass and in cover situations, I really like this tungsten model for that deeper, deeper sound to it. The back of the bait that holds all of your trailers on, we've got a little wire keeper there. That ensures that trailer stays up there really well. Again, the length of the shank of this hook is so important to get that hook point further away from the blade. You get lots and lots of slashing style bites with this bait, that distance just equates into more fish landing. Trailers, I like multiple different styles of trailers. The Blade Minnow, this is a Tackle Warehouse exclusive in Bama Bug. It's awful good on a darn uh, green pumpkin colored cricket. The mid-size Rage Bug, I rig it this way. I don't rig it flat, I rig it this way. So it gives me that bluegill look. And then when I really want to slow the bait down, the Scound Bug is one that I like. Bigger and bulkier it gives a bigger fish a better shot at the bait. The one thing I always do with my blade minnow, I want to make the, the whole bait a little more compact, is I cut the head of it off right there, cut off about a half inch, slide that trailer up here just like this with the V on the bottom, slide it up there, come on through, make sure it penetrates in, holds there good and tight, and that little bit of, bit of uh, wire holds this bait on there just perfect, and it's a snack size package with a lot of punch. Kind of unique what's going on here. We've got all these lay down trees, these rows of trees, and it appears to me that these fish are out on the ends of these trees, very high in the water column. So I'm not doing anything really special. This is the good, cool thing about Thunder Cricket. It's kind of an idiot bait. We use that term with lipless baits, but you can also do it with this bait as well. I'm keeping it high in the water column, keeping my rod tip up and getting it where these fish come out from under what's floating and ambush the bait. The vibration of the bait allows me to slow this bait down. I'm using a relatively short rod. I'm using a six foot 10 inch rod for a reason. With a longer rod, it keeps the bait up higher in the water column. So this shorter rod is this 610. I can swim it around, move it around, lay the rod left to right, and it keeps the bait a little lower in the water column. I love this bait when I kind of highlight it. It's still just, it's in that, in that zone where I can just barely see it. It seems like I get a lot more bites with this style of bait in and around cover, pods of grass, trees, docks, that kind of thing. <laughs> I just love it when they show themselves. It makes fishing so much easier. There's gotta be another one there because I had another one bite it just a second ago. Come here, come here. Look here, now this is, this is what's cool about this bait. If I have a new one up here, now, oh, I got him. I got him, look how black that fish is. That old big hook just barely got him. One of the coolest things about this bait is how far back that hook shank takes the point of the hook. It reduces the amount of fish I miss. 
These fish slash at this bait. They hit it from different angles. That big hook and the length of that shank on that hook caught that fish for me. About that one, that one showed himself. Get him back in there and let me get another bait over there. Between all the wood, you can see I've got this grass. It's matted up shallow, and then as it tapers down, you'll start getting heads of grass, little holes in the grass, and so I'm gonna target those. Oh, what one just popped the dog out of that right there. So as I make that cast, I know that height of that grass is going down, it's, it's, it's tapering down, so I'll slow my retrieve down, and I'll actually almost fish it like a jig, giving it a yo-yo out here on this outside edge. Start the cast up shallow in the visible grass, rod tip up, start coming out where it's a little deeper. I can, can't see the grass anymore. Rod tip goes back down, let it go all the way to the bottom, and then I'll start this hopping action. So that gives me two or three casts. If I get a bite, then I can replicate it and really target it. It amazes me how many times when I hop that thing up and it goes back and it's falling back to the bottom without any vibration, how many bites I get up like it. It feels just like a jig, there he is. Just like a jig bite. See this one, you can see I got him in the bottom lip. That's when I was hopping that thing, that jig kind of turned, he got it on the fall. Very cool bite. The bait's just a darn versatile bait, you know, and we, it gets a bad rap as just one that you cast and retrieve. I find that my better fish most of the time come on out here away from cover. On that fall, just a hint deeper, that one hit it just like that. Just when I got ready to lift it up, he already had it. Very cool. Jerked it. Ah, that one popped it good. I'll tell you what, for a little different vibration, the Tungsten Thunder Cricket gives me something totally different than any other bladed jig, even our other Thunder Crickets. The long hook gets them in the boat for me. Hey, you can't beat that combination. Hope you enjoyed this video here on Tackle Warehouse. Look for all the products here on the website that we use today.